we started as a marriage preparation ministry, as I mentioned earlier. Then we developed our, our marriage conference. We still have both that take place today. We'll do uh, around 75 to, to 80 weekend to remember marriage getaways this year about with about 50,000 people that attend. Mm. We'll, um, we'll host several thousand Art of Marriage events. And the Art of Marriage is a... Um, it's a six-hour video conference in a box, or it's a six-session small group, highly produced video, very practical, extremely biblical, and being anchored in the blueprints of Scripture. But it's designed to help a couple or a group of couples go through those blueprints and come out on the other side with some practical plans to know how to build their marriage around sex, conflict, communication, how they can get a vision for what it means to be a husband, a wife, getting their responsibilities in place. And uh, we've also got a resource for men called Stepping Up that we've seen go to some remarkable places. About a about 600,000 people have been through the art of marriage in four years, and about 150,000 men and young men have been through Stepping Up. And it's a 10-part series for men that... Uh, well, a father can take his son through this, a teenage son, 14, 15 years old with a group of fathers. A group of men can just get together and go through this. College guys can go through this series. It's designed to help men recapture the essence of what it means to be a, a man who's shaped by God. Practically, what does that look like? And uh, recently, I had the privilege of going to a, a homeless shelter where the leader of this was the former CEO of Frito-Lay um, North America. So he had, I don't know how many hundred thousand employees, but he left all that to head up the Atlanta mission. Mm. Thousand, wow. They feed a thousand men and women a day. And he took 135 men through stepping up who are homeless. And wow. he wondered if it would work. And I'll tell you what, some of the stories I heard, because I flew down there and participated in the graduation ceremony. And I sat across the table from a young man I said, tell me about your life. He said, well, at the age of six, my mom left and was gone for sometimes weeks and months at a time. And I said, well, did your older brothers and sisters take care of you, your dad? No, not my dad. He's been incarcerated. I've seen him two times in 25 years. Mm. And I said, so what about your, your brothers and sisters? He said, I was the oldest. I was head of household mm. at six. My goodness. And he said, wow. when I came to this Stepping Up series about what it means to be a man, he said, um, I, I didn't know what a real man is and what a real man does. One man would tell me one thing, another man would tell me another. And um, he said, stepping up gave me the model of what manhood looks like. And, and I now see how I'm responsible to be reconciled to my wife, reconciled to my children. And these are guys who've lost their jobs. They've lost their families. They've lost their, uh, really their dignity as human beings. And I just think we see the breakdown of the home, Bob, in all kinds of places. Prisons, Stepping Up has gone to prisons. We've had literally thousands of men in prisons go through Stepping Up. Um, I think because people are, are losing hope. They don't know where to find hope in this culture. And I think we as believers and followers of Christ have got the hope mm, in yeah. the person of Christ that uh, other people need. And, and we're going to present that hope around uh, I think the most important human relationship we form on the planet, marriage relationship, and then a family. And people need to know how those blueprints, uh, how they work and how they can apply them. Well, let's talk just a bit before we take another break as far as the, the importance of the man in the home from a Christian point of view. You're talking about men stepping up. How important is that? It's, it's uh, in my opinion, it's the battle of the day. When men mm. get things right, everything else falls in place. When men foul up and don't get things right, a lot of things spin off and out of control. I think the real battleground for the family today um, lies in the hearts of men. Men, uh, I think they have now made their default uh, passivity. Mm. They have let others serve them. We have the oldest age for single men getting married in the history of our nation. It's now 29 years of age. Just a generation ago, it was 19. Mm. Now, I'm not saying men were ready at 19 for marriage necessarily, but that men are delaying the commitment uh, approaching 30 years of age and, and really delaying any kind of uh, taking on major responsibility for a family and rearing the next generation. This is a big deal. Mm. 